guys, Mike back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make 3D thumbnails for your YouTube videos in 5 minutes flat just using Android. Check it out. So guys, the first thing you want to do is head over to the Play Store, download an app called Pixel Lab. Now a link for that will be in the video description. It's been downloaded over 5 million times. So what this allows you to do is add stickers, simple text, 3D text. You can create your own custom preset. So for all future thumbnails, you can have the same text so it's all uniformed. Now you can also have the ability to save your image with a transparent background and it's all for free. So check out the video. So guys, once you open the app, this is the user interface. Now we're going to start off by deleting this word, new text. So, delete button on the top. Now we've got a clear canvas. Now what I tend to do is just slide over to a plain white background, depending on the image that I'm editing. If it's a yeah, transparent image, I'll just bang it on on anything. So, we'll select the yeah, white image, confirm this. Now then what we want to do is go into this button over here, which is just, I'm just showing you a quick little guide, but we're going to add an image from our photo gallery. Now, I've got an image for a project I've been working on, so here it is, this is my room transformation. So you want to hit the square button in the middle, this will leave your image exactly how it is. You can drag and resize and position until you're happy. So once you're happy with the positioning of the uh, image, what we want to do, there we go, a little bit more, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is hit this edit button on the top left hand corner and we're going to try and add some text. So now we go into add text and we drag the text onto the image so you can see it a little bit clearer. Once you've got your text, what you want to do is go into the edit mode. Now, which can be accessed either via the bottom slider control panels or you can add it from the editor button on the top left hand corner. So what I'm going to write is, mm, what am I going to call it, what am I going to call it, uh, let's think. So we're going to call this project uh, Room Upgrade, so yeah, Room Upgrade, we'll go with Room Upgrade. So let's just tap this in. Now a cool little feature, see the uh, button on the top left hand corner in the small red box? If you click it, it will lowercase all your letters and uppercase all your letters. Nice and easy so you don't have to uh, mess about with your keyboard. So once we're happy with that, press OK, adds the text. Just make sure you select the right layer. So we select our text layer. Now to make it bigger, unfortunately you can't just drag it, so you have to resize the text. So to do this, we're going to use the slider controls on the bottom like so let's just find the right one so you got TT for size and then you can slide this and make the image bigger now we're gonna go from edge to edge I quite like that effect a good old Casey uses the same on his videos so yeah it's good enough for us so now once we've done that what we want to do is what I like to do so I want to make a 3d image so what we're gonna do just mess about a little bit positioning it because if we position it over the white it kind of uh, interferes with the white text so as you scroll through, there's so many effects. So now we're gonna, you can see the amount of fonts available. So pick one that you like. Once you're happy with the font, um, I liked this, uh, where has it gone? I think it's called Spin Cycle, here it is. So we'll select Spin Cycle, hit OK, and there we go. So that fits perfectly, because the program resizes it so it doesn't overspill, depending on the font. So once we're happy with that, you can select it to be bold, italic, underline, whatever you want. I don't want any of those, so we're going to just X out of this. So, we've got, here we are. So, this is, oh, wrong layer. So select the correct layer, and then go back to where we were. Once you get the hang of this app, because of the amount of uh, filters and the amount of effects and the different uh, sizing options and the tools, it's quite epic. It really is good, guys. And it's free so let me just find here we go here we are so 3d so we need enable 3d mode so this is the perspective view and you can swap it over as well if you wish we'll leave you a perspective and you can adjust the 3d depth so we're just going to bring it down a little bit because it looked a bit too much so when you're happy yeah and then you've got your dark in you've got your 3d rotation you can mess about whatever you want. 
So there you go guys. That is pretty much it on how to make a 3D thumbnail. I'm just going to mess about so and then I'll show you what the uh, finished product looks like. There you go. So there we are guys. I'm happy with it. So I'm going to hit save and you can save it as a JPEG or with a transparent background, PNG file. Uh, I'm going to set the uh, quality to very high. Now it says it might crash, but if you've got a modern smartphone, it's absolutely fine. It won't do anything. So I'm just going to save it to my gallery. It's rendering the image. It'll take a few seconds depending on your phone. Go away, IBM. I don't want to see ads. Yet we live off ads. So close that down. Now we can uh, close out of the app. Go into that gallery and just find the uh, Pixel Lab. And here we go, guys. There you have it. Your finished product and you can use this uniform your thumbnails on all your YouTube videos. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video.